Alright everyone, in this video I'll be doing a preview of KDE version 5. Now I've got two virtual machines here running KDE 5. What we've got is the Project Neon, which was put together by people who know what they're doing. And over here I've got the alpha release of Kubuntu version 14.10, which I've kind of put the KDE Next repository on and had to cobble together a few packages and add a few things and it all got a bit messy. So this was put together by someone who doesn't really know what they were doing and was stabbing in the dark late last night. The Project Neon build, which is running on 14.04, actually runs reasonably well, although this is a live build, not fully installed. In terms of memory usage, KDE 5 is actually quite a bit lower. So on the full install, I'm clocking it about 80 meg lower than uh, Kubuntu 14.04 was, which is quite good actually. Although startup time is quite a bit longer, so it's it added quite a few seconds to the startup speed. Anyway, let's get to some of the obvious changes here. This is the new lock screen. So let's chuck my password in there. And you got oh, some of the obvious changes here within like how the menu looks now. Um, in fact, let me switch across to the one where people who know what they were doing made it. So this is the menu over here, which is a bit more legible than mine was. So a new set of icons and a new set of icons down here in the taskbar. The calendar looks a bit different now as well, just a bit more of a different look to it. And the Cashew has gone now and been replaced by these three lines. So oh, let me just get rid of the calendar. So I'm trying to peer around the microphone and can't really see what I'm doing there. So yeah, that's the I don't know what you call it. Three lines, cashew. Anyway. The applications are a bit of a different style now with the window border. Yeah, it's a bit of a flat look this comes with by default, and uh, yeah, I don't like that. Because it kind of reminds me of Windows 8 and that's not really a good look. That's registering as KDE version 4.13. Wait a moment. I was messing around with uh, SysGuard and uh, that was reporting a, a different version number. So about KDE here, ah yes, version 5. So we've got a mixture of, I don't know, what do you call them? Qt apps? KDE apps? I don't know, we've got a mixture of version 4 and version 5. Now as far as the widgets go, the older versions don't seem to work at all, so I can't get a new version of Home Run. So even within the Project Neon build, I can't get it installed, I can install it but I can't use it. And over here on the Kubuntu 14.10 build, no, again I can install it but can't use it. So let's take more of a look at it. So opting for Project Neon. I'm going to open up SysGuard again because actually I didn't really look at the memory usage and uh, I can see that memory usage has actually crept up a little bit now but it was uh, about 275 meg at boot up. So because I've been running a few programs here and this is only a, a live image and so that doesn't really help with memory usage particularly much. On desktop settings I've got a few different wallpapers now. You've got the option to go in and download, yeah, same as you did before. Not all the downloads are working, so I tried to uh, install one of these and it just says I could not install, file not found. Similar thing for the widgets, again you can go and add widgets and get new widgets. And yeah, download new plasma widgets. But that's all there is at the moment. So if you're thinking of going to KDE 5 right now, and expecting to be able to fully customise your system and get everything that you could before, uh, no that's not the case. Uh, I think we've just got to wait a little while for developers to catch up. Go over to the system settings, the workspace theme, a new cursor theme, well it's called Breeze. But, um, yeah, looks okay, it's a bit dull and grey. There's uh, quite a bit more selection with uh, the oxygen cursors at the moment. Fonts, hang on this is Oxygen Sans. Because the default with Kubuntu is the Ubuntu font. The window decorations, again we've got this breeze style. In fact I end up with a slightly different colour scheme on my Kubuntu 14.10 system. I don't know how I manage that. I don't know which one's right and wrong. Widgets, yeah, same as before. Icon themes, 
yeah, different icon theme. Desktop behavior, nah, this is all the same. I've not gone and tested this out on a full system install, so I would be quite interested to see if uh, there's any issue with tearing now, which I'm finding in Kubuntu 14.04 at the moment, when there's rapid image change on the videos. Well, as far as running other applications, uh, I do have an issue trying to open Synaptic on the system that I put together here, so uh, I seem to be missing a library file basically, and uh, I've only just got Moon Package Manager on here, so I might be able to solve that one. Opens other applications okay though, so I've got Firefox web, web browser, uh, that opens, albeit a bit slow. LibreOffice Writer. Yep, so those uh, GTK type applications work. Let's just open it again, to see if the speed's improved. And Firefox. Uh, Firefox seems to be a bit slower, but uh, LibreOffice seems to be okay. Uh, strange. Gwenview, yeah. See, it's all good. Over here on the Project Neon, you can see I can actually open Snaptic perfectly fine. So, yes, yeah, that indicates that uh, the issue is uh, more my side. Lib KD init, I don't know, pass. Firefox, LibreOffice. Oh, it's not actually got LibreOffice installed. So, oh well. Let's open it again. Firefox. It, at least this doesn't lag so much. Yep, yeah, that could be an issue on 14.10. I don't know at this point. So that was a look at KDE5. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.